Hop on the bus to Badassville. Fruitful Fridays with Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day and Weekend Vibes. Let's take a bite of some Apple a Day topics. Certifying badasses, one podcast at a time. That's right. Turn up your energy with Fruitful Friday. Hey, man, it's the weekend. And uh, it's been a really hot week. Um, it's going to be hot for quite a while here in the Southern California uh, region, which is which is where I'm broadcasting podcasting from, uh, from my office space located in Michelle's Place Cancer Resource Center uh, here in Temecula, California. It is Fruitful Friday. Thank you, Mr. Ocean, for the wonderful, always badass introductions. I never really know what he's going to say until I'm well, right here producing this sucker. Uh, we are. <laughs> this is Fruitful Friday, and we are certifying badasses one podcast at a time i am kelly orchard the badass certifier hey did you know that i'm also a licensed psychotherapist i think that's something that i don't let you know let you in on quite enough and i've realized that uh you know it's because i don't go around dangling my credentials all the time in front of people because i just i don't know i guess i just figure you must already know that. Um, But yeah, I am a licensed psychotherapist. And you can go back into some of the archives of the podcast. and I gave you the whole story at the very beginning uh, in January of 2021 um, on on my my story. And I share my story often when I when I have my badass certification class. And when you sign up for my program, you hear my full story as to what led me here. But for the sake of the podcast, if you're just discovering it, I am a second generation radio broadcaster. And um, my dad was in radio in Los Angeles before I was ever born. And I was the youngest of four kids. I had three older brothers. And when I was in high school, yeah, I was a valley girl. When I was in high school, we moved to a small town, Victorville, to build the first of several radio stations, which we owned and operated for 17 years. And then for the past 20 years, since 2000, I've been working with my dad as an FCC compliance specialist, basically inspecting and certifying radio and television stations that they meet the uh, requirements, documentation, and their obligations in order to maintain their license to broadcast. And um, in 2006, is this is when the, the shift for me occurred. I found myself uh, over the 4th of July weekend that year um, in the emergency room suffering from heart failure. I was 42 years old, single mom, raising three kids, and uh, self-employed. And um, based, you know, th- this time of year already always reminds me of that time frame. There's a lot of a lot of trauma has occurred in my life around the Fourth of July holiday. Um, but that's what that's what set me on the journey to becoming a licensed psychotherapist. Because when all was said and done, when my when I when I it took two and a half years for me to heal my heart, I had to figure out what I was going to do next. And I really wanted to help people navigate their way through some sort of a life derailing event. Mine happened to be this particular one, a heart crisis. But uh, that's what led me to being here to certifying badasses one podcast at a time. Because if you're here and you're listening, it must mean that you you identify as a badass. And why? Probably because you've been through the storms of life and you're trying to keep a maintain a positive attitude. You've weathered the storms. You, you have gained some wisdom from experience and you're not giving up. You know, that's part of what the definition of what today's urban culture refers to as someone who's badass. And that's why we're here. So the S in badass stands for to steadfastly stay the course. Remember, badass is an acronym. So it also means to be flexible and nimble when life throws us a curveball. Uh, they can be huge curveballs like my heart crisis or like the recent pandemic. Or they can be small ones like my little adventure with my dad the other day. Yeah, last last weekend, um, he, he was uh, invited to join in on a LA radio people reunion. Now, first of all, you know, in the podcast, I was telling you last week, I wanted you to treat yourself. And that was my intention as well. My plan was to treat myself with kind of a little day trip early in the morning to the beach. I haven't been to the beach yet this, this season, which it just got started. But uh, you know, I'm a California girl. So the beach is pretty much norm. But I'd like to go early in the morning before anybody else gets out there and just kind of walk the beach, you know, before the crowds, before all of the sunbathers, because I no longer care to sunbathe. But I do like to get myself out to the ocean. And that was what I wanted to treat myself to do. And that was my plan. But the other part of the weekend derailed 
me because I was utterly exhausted. So, but once again, so I had to learn how to play flexible and nimble and not let it get the best of me. So let me repeat and paint the picture for you. So last weekend, my like I said, my dad was invited to go to a Los Angeles radio people reunion. And we've gone to a few in the past. Um, my dad now lives with me. He's 83. So getting around is a little bit challenging for him. He's got some Parkinson's. So he doesn't drive himself anymore, anywhere. And plus, you know, and I have a radio background too. And so, and, and I've worked with my dad forever. So it did not, it doesn't seem like a sacrifice at all to, to drive him out to this little reunion that was going to happen at a big, huge park in Van Nuys, my stomping grounds. Yes, I was born in Van Nuys. My dad graduated from Van Nuys High School. He married my mom in Van Nuys and we used to live just down the street from where this park was. So this was, you know, going back to home turf. We were both looking forward to it. But of course, we're in Los Angeles now. I mean, in Temecula now. And even from Temecula, it, you know, it's south of, of Los Angeles. You know, it, on a good day with little traffic, you know, or moder- moderate traffic, it's going to take you a good hour and a half, maybe hour and 45 minutes to get into Los Angeles. You'd think on a Saturday it wasn't going to be, you know, too, too bad, you know, especially midday. I have no idea what the deal was with the freeways in Southern California, but it was bumper to bumper traffic from the get go. I think that a certain part of the I-15, and then as you're heading west into Los Angeles, and you know, a little north northwest, there was nonstop traffic. I mean, like a, a ten minute delay here, a five minute delay there. You'd just get rolling, and then you'd have another fifteen or twenty minute delay. It took us almost three hours to get to this park. And of course, you know, we're, we're it's a huge park. We don't know exactly where the location is. We're kind of winging it and we're hoping that we're going to find it. But that too was was really challenging. And so we did finally meet up with, with the reunion folk, um, but we were an hour and a half late to the beginning of it. So I'm sure that we missed several people. And, you know, and, and, and all kind of frazzled. We, 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 we managed to have a good time, though. And then on our way home, we had the same traffic problem. Even the GPS says, you know, un, uh, what did it, you know, it's like uncommon traffic or whatever it was. Unre- it was unreasonable. And it was, I was taking a lot of deep breaths. My, you know, my poor dad, very, very calm, cool, and collected. And we've done a lot of road trips together. So it's not like we don't know how to travel together. We, we're fine. But I'll be honest with you, I drove the stick, I drove the Mustang, and it's a stick shift. And the reason I drove the Mustang was just because I'm comfortable driving that car. I didn't think it would be that too bad. And it, it's nice to get it out on the road, on the highway, whenever I can. But this was a disaster. I mean, just imagine you're in a stick shift in nonstop bumper to bumper traffic for three hours. It's like working out. <laughs> you know, your feet are going back and forth and you're having to focus on, you know, which gear you're in. And sometimes you're in first because you're just kind of limping along and you got to keep it going. Or or maybe you're in second and you're... You, it, <sighs> My brain was constantly working and my legs were constantly going back and forth. So by the time we got home, I mean, it was a full eight hour day. We were talking six hours in traffic going there and back. And then the two hours in at the park, um, you know, just trying to enjoy yourself, knowing that you had this this trek to get back home. And so needless to say, I was too exhausted the next morning on Sunday to even want to treat myself to the quiet morning at the beach because the last thing I wanted to do was get in my car and take a chance that there was going to be traffic getting towards the beach. Now, the beach from Temecula, I can go to a more southern beach. I don't have to go to the ones all the way up in LA County. I've got them right here. But I, st- I wasn't going to do that. So how did I still manage to treat myself? And this is part of the stay the course. But man, when your plan gets derailed, rather than give up, rather than feel like a victim because whatever plan you made didn't work or it hasn't, you haven't, it hasn't become fruition yet. What are you going to do to be flexible and nimble? So how did I still manage to treat myself? So I'm asking you, what do you do when things don't go exactly how you'd hoped they would go?
It just so happens, it, it, you know, it, it does happen about everything we do, doesn't it? You know, it never really goes the way you plan. So we have to, you know, be, be flexible. So for me, it was definitely, you know, just kind of have myself a nice little glass of wine and soak in my bathtub with some Epsom salts because Epsom salts definitely help, in, you know, reduce muscle pain and aches and it helped me to sleep. And I had to, I had to do it a couple of times because honestly, you know, driving the stick shift, my hips were hurting, my ankles were hurting a little bit. Remember, not too long ago. I had a sprained ankle. So I didn't complain to my dad though. Okay. And this is another thing that's really important that you should know when things aren't going exactly the way you'd hoped they would go and things are out of your control, they're more likely out of the, out of the control of whoever you're with as well. Don't use them as a punching bag. I know that my dad was not exactly thrilled with how everything went down on that Saturday either, but I think that we were both glad that we were able to make the trip. And that he got, he did get to go and visit with some Los Angeles radio people at a reunion and feel part of, part of a community again. Because he's been, poor man, has been locked up in my house for a year now. Well, I'm not holding him prisoner, but you know what I mean. So even though I was too exhausted to have my little self-care treat that I had planned, guess what? I've got it planned for this weekend, for sure. I'm just, I just had to regroup, be flexible and a little bit nimble and not give up and just kind of accept what is for what is. Remember not too long ago, we talked about how to reduce your expectations. It doesn't mean to give up or quit. It's just sometimes we just need to step back and regroup. And that's okay. So that's a little bit of some weekend vibes for you on this Fruitful Friday. Now I want to give you some apple a day wisdom, some bites. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. So how do you use your free time? Do you play? I want you to say yes to playtime this weekend. So what are some of the activities that you enjoy doing? All right, it's summertime. Do you go to the park? Are you playing games? Do you like to be lazy in your backyard? You know, it's like you should never underestimate child's play. According to an article in Live Science, it may look like leisure time, but when children are playing house, fighting imaginary dragons, or organizing a game of hopscotch, they're actually developing crucial life skills. And the benefits continue into adulthood because playing is important for relaxation and stimulation. Play improves your health work and family relationships. So when you're when you when was the last time you played with your romantic partner or your coworkers or your pets or your friends? Allowing yourself to play will fuel your imagination, creativity and improve your mental health. So here are some of the reasons we play for the fun of it, to calm ourselves so we can focus, to feel challenged, to create or to lose ourselves in pleasurable activity. Every once in a while, you've just got to say yes to relaxing. Relaxing is so good for you and you really do deserve it. And it doesn't have to be as long as you think it does. You don't need to plan the entire weekend at a spa or a vacation to say yes to relax. Relaxation helps to reduce everyday stress. So how might you find ways to unwind and relax this weekend? You know, like I said, a bath is always a, is a, is a go-to for me, you know, but here's some other techniques. You can crank up the tunes. <laughs> I talk about the badass soundtrack all the time. Music that is soothing can lower blood pressure, heart rate, and anxiety. Move your body. Exercise in any form eases depression and releases feel-good chemicals in your brain, giving your body a boost. Take a quick walk around the block or do some head rolls or shoulder shrugs at your desk. Laugh out loud. Laughter is the best medicine and helps lower cortisol, which is your body's stress hormone. It also boosts endorphins that help your mood. (sighs) Breathe deeply. You can do this just about anywhere at any time. And I'll tell you, this is what the tool that I used to help me get through the traffic. It was just a lot of deep breaths to remind myself to breathe while I was going through traffic. It just takes you five minutes to focus on your breathing by sitting straight up, eyes closed. I didn't have my eyes closed. I'll be honest about that. And hand on your belly, breathing slowly in and out. It'll lower your heart rate and your blood pressure. So I just gave you some fruitful ideas for you to have a wonderful summertime weekend. I'm Kelly Orchard. So listen, 
Bobby's going to come up and tell you a little bit about, you know, my YouTube channel and stuff like that for Mustang Monday, which is coming up on Monday. I got fresh episodes uh, that are going to be starting uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks. I've been out there um, hunting down some badasses to hop in the seat of the Mustang to give some new uh, some new badass tips from the streets. And uh, I want to thank you for hopping along with me. You know, so here's what we covered today in the podcast. We're talking about the S in badass, which stands for steadfastly stay the course. And remember the whole badass acronym is B stands for be yourself. And I teach you that how can you be yourself if you don't really know yourself? And so I've got tools for you to figure out not only who you are, but what makes you unique and different and special. All right. And then the A in badass stands for attitude is everything and you need a positive one in order to succeed. So I give you tips and tools, not just tips, I actually give you worksheets and tools for positive psychology and how to challenge your negative thoughts. I'm actually using solution focused and cognitive behavioral therapy in my program. It's very therapeutic, but it's not meant to replace therapy. But sometimes you just can't get to therapy and you could use some of these tools. And that's what I've got for you. The D in badass stands for oh, decide. Once you decide that you want to grow and succeed, that's the biggest decision right there. That's the most important thing to make the decision. And then once you do, you got to stay dedicated and disciplined. I love the D. Then the A in badass, the second A in badass stands for awareness. And I teach you about emotional intelligence and how to be aware of your surroundings. And that even includes some guided imagery so that you can practice mindfulness and understand what your emotions and what you're feeling. And maybe not necessarily, we're not promoting being a mind reader, but maybe you would develop some empathy and some compassion skills so that you could understand maybe just how somebody else is is also feeling and that's emotional intelligence and then of course this week this month we're doing the s in badass which stands for steadfastly stay the course because that's when we usually want to give up when what we're working toward doesn't happen soon enough for us and we have to learn to accept the pause and also be flexible and nimble but still stay the course. And of course, the last S in badass, that just stands for successful badassery. Because as long as you continue to use these tools and you practice, you're going to be practicing a badass life. And that's what it means to be licensed to be badass. It gives you some credibility. So that's what we covered on the podcast. So what tools are you going to add to your toolbox? Hey, did you know that Kelly Orchard's Apple a Day is also a daily podcast? It's 60 seconds on wisdom, success, and personal growth. And you can subscribe to it on the same exact podcast platform. You're checking this one out. All you got to do is search my name. You'll find both my podcasts. I made it kind of easy for you. It's easy for me too to remember all of that. So listen, you know, the badass program is up and running. All you got to do is go to my website and check it out uh, but in the meantime I'd love to send you a license to be badass sticker because I think you're certified badass just by showing up so all you got to do is grab my badass habits ebook it's free 31 micro habits that you can try right now and for the next 30 days to see what sticks for you what kind of badass habits would you like to develop and once you sign up and get that I will send you a sticker as well so that we can all um, represent that we are licensed to be badass. Hey, have a great weekend. I'm Kelly Orchard, the Badass Certifier. See you on Monday for Mustang Monday. Mustang Monday. Fast cars, fun chats, and badass business and personal tips from the streets. Driving home a positive message with interviews conducted in Kelly's 2006 Mustang. Remember, you have a free badass ebook coming when you drop in on licensedtobebadass.com